Welcome once again. This is uh, Grade 2 Maths, and you're yet again hearing the voice of Uncle Jude. Yes, today in Maths, today in Maths will be Today in March, we'll be looking at numbers. We'll be talking about numbers. Now, I want to see how we can count, how we can be counting from 1 to 10 and bundles. Now, looking at this, we have a series of numbers here from 1 to 10. With all these diagrams here, you should be able to understand how to count numbers. Now, we have 1. This is just it. We have one pencil here. Two, we have two pencils. Three, we have three pencils. Now, four, we have also four pencils here. And five, we have five pencils. Like that, up to nine, we have nine pencils here. Then when it gets to ten, we'll not be talking about what? Bundles. Each bundles contain 10 pencils, as you can see. Each bundle contains 10 pencils. Now, when you come to this side, you see bundles. We have different bundles here. We have one 10 bundle here gives us what? One bundle gives us 10 pencils. We are not counting in what? In tens. We are counting in tens. Now, two bundles gives us 20 pencils. Two bundles gives us 20 pencils. Now your classwork is this. Three bundles gives you how many pencils? When you count, if one bundle contains 10 pencils, three bundles should give you 30 pencils. In other words, you can easily do it like this. Three times 10 gives us how many? 30. You see that? Because each bundle we have here, one bundle gives us how many? 10 pencils. Now, two bundles gives us how many? Pencils. 20 pencils. Now, your classwork is three bundles gives you how many pencils? That is to say, three times 10 gives you 30 pencils. Same thing goes to here. Four bundles. Four times ten gives you the number of pencils that are in a bundle. Good. Five times ten. Five bundles times ten pencils gives you how many pencils? You check that. Just follow the steps. Three times ten. This is three bundles. Three bundles. Times 10 pencils gives you how many? 30. That is just it. So, you should be able to understand this. It's very simple. I come again. We are looking at count 1 to 10 and bundles. From here, we have just 1 to 9 that is counted for us. But the bundle is from 10. They're not counting in 10. Now, 1, 1 pencil. 2, 1, 2. 2 pencils. 3, 1, 2, 3. We have 3 pencils. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pencils. 5, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pencils. Now, 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 pencils. Then, 7, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, 9, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, we now go to 10. 10 is in bundle. 10 is in bundle. This bundle of pencils, these pencils here are 10 in numbers. It's in bundle. Now, one bundle gives us how many pencils? 10 pencils. Two bundles like this. Each one bundle here is 10 pencils inside of it. Now, two of these bundles gives us 20 pencils. That is just what you need to understand. Now, your classwork is simple, as I've explained before. 
Three bundles will give you how many pesos? Same goes to four, up to six bundles. How do you get the number of pesos in three bundles? It's simple. Simply times three times ten. This ten represents the number of pesos in a bundle. This is a bundle. And this three is your question you're being asked. These three bundles here gives you how many pesos? That is to say, 3 times 10 gives you what? 30. So here, your answer should be what? 30 pesos. Follow the same step to do number four, uh, to do question 4, 5, and 6. Thank you very much. If there's any question, you let us know. God bless you.